Hey guys, we have us a um, no cooling, excuse me, a no heat call. Ecobee thermostat says it's been running for too long. So let's check it out. It's running in heat. Now, <laughs> that's hot. This is a new system, a new trailer. I got it turned up to like, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. That is right before what you're gonna call the um, evaporator, but it's the condenser in this case. So I know it's getting hot. I'll work on that for them. It was pointing up. Lovely rain hood. I mean, I've seen worse. Looks like they made it out of they made it out of duck. <laughs> oh my. Before I take this panel off, I'm going to try and unplug the contactor so uh, so we don't go out in high head pressure. But I want to keep everything else on because I want to check my heat strips. Oh, I'm just checking it out. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out what's going on with it. Well, um, I'm about to find that out. like we have one heat strip and that is not working I bet this is another one of those heater kits where it's the wrong heater kit Resistance on this, it may be trying to bring it on and then jumping out. Occupant 121 ohms. Okay, guys, the, the reason I was checking the ohms on that sequencer is because um, the tenant was out there with me and he was telling me that they keep getting some kind of error message 
about the auxiliary heat saying they've been trying to bring it on for so many hours and they couldn't bring it on but um and then they said sometimes it just resets itself that to me sounded like we had a short and we read 121 ohms on that other sequencer let's see what we're supposed to read I think we found our problem heater kit for this so um if y'all remember in one of my past videos they had the wrong heater kit and I had to remove all these molexes and um basically redo the molex plug so it would work uh, whoever's installing this stuff out here I'm not sure they really know what they're doing i mean look at this rain hood i mean it looks like it's made out of 14 inch duct metal duct i mean that's what that is 12 inch i can read it up there 12 inch metal duct huh. i wish they'd let me do it i'm gonna quote them a price for a new heater kit and i may have to get some new number six to bring down here but yeah Let's replace this. I'm going to check this again. Check the ohms once we have it disconnected. And see if we still have 121 ohms. useless <clears throat> so it wasn't even wired right I thought it was all right let's take this wire which is on my radio and we're gonna go to here we're gonna take this wire here all right are y'all seeing what i'm doing this wire goes straight to the heat strip or to this limit and this one goes through the sequencer they don't have but 5 kW. try to do the best with what we got and quote them a new heater kit 5kw may not be enough <laughs> I cannot help but think that these installers are being sent out here with without the right stuff they're, they're being sent out here with being asked to make a rain hood out of that and they don't have the right heater kit I'm gonna hook this up. Normally I would say no, I'm not gonna mess with it until, because it's supposed to be cold this weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. And that way they can have some heat or at least whatever heat is installed right here. And um, let's check the ohms on that sequencer one more time.
Yep, 128 ohms. I don't know if y'all can see that. That'll pull so many amps, it'll cause it to reset at the thermostat. All right, I think I need to get some more of these. That's like the third one I've used today. Let's plug everything back up and see how it does. I just bought this over at um, the Klein Tools Department over at Lowe's. I've never quite used one. It looks like you got to get right up on that. Tells me it's more than 12 volts. I think I don't go any higher than a thousand volts, so I'm gonna leave it at 12 volts. Maybe I can detect. Look at that, I can detect low voltage. That might actually help me trace out some wires sometimes. Yeah, it works. Now, whether or not I use it, that's another question, but it works. All right, heat pump has come on, and we are still waiting on these heat strips to work. It looks like my white and my blue are all that's being used. I'm getting really close to that power. I need to be careful. So it should come on. I'm going to jump this out real quick just to make sure that heat will come on and that way I can close this part of the panel. gets a call it will come on there it goes whoop that might be from me just jumping it out see if we ever get a call and I'm gonna put my well I'm gonna leave that off for right now still don't have a call for the heat strip yeah that's right Okay, when those thermostats are wired up to the internet, they may not call for W1, and they have to have W1 even though what most thermostats would call it W2 or auxiliary. You do W1 and then you do W2 on that thermostat. And because of the temperature outside, it may not even call for the electric heat to come on at all. I do know that if it does call, it's going to come on. And I'm going to take a picture of this model and serial right here and quote them a um, new heater kit. anyway that's it for this one 
I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Um, that customer was also having a problem with the Ecobee. It has a um, program on it, but they didn't want the program and I couldn't get it to just bypass the program unless they used the app and then they were able to put it on permanent hold. So um, that's what we had to do with that one. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. That really does help out, and I'll catch you on the next one.